Before we go any further, let's just have a quick look at the patterns in this table. Now remember earlier I was talking about doing laps of the Cartesian plane to be able to describe a certain ray with multiple angles, each time adding 360 or subtracting 360 to describe the same spot. Well, if we're doing something that's going around and around and every time, every 360, there's the same um, uh, answer, I suppose you could say, because it's really describing the same position. And in fact, the trig uh, functions will give you the same answers for all of the angles that are described similarly. So for example, zero, the sine of zero will be exactly the same thing as the sine of 360, the sine of 720, the sine of 1080, every time, time you go around. Then you're going to see some patterns in the trig functions. And next lesson when we graph them, this table will make a little bit more sense than it does now because you'll see how those patterns are graphed. Let's look at the sine of theta pattern because when we graph y equals sine of theta, we'll be able to see 0, 1, 0, minus 1. And if we were to keep going, 360, what would that be? Well, 360 is the same as 0, isn't it? So if we were to keep on going, we'd repeat these numbers over and over. 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1. It's a pattern, and it makes a graph that does this. Same for cos, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0. Now you notice this is the exact same pattern, except it starts on a different number. 0, 1, 0, minus 1, and cos has the same thing here. Uh, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, it's just shifted back one space, isn't it? Tan of theta, 0, undefined, 0, undefined, 0, undefined. That's a pattern. Cosec, undefined 1, undefined minus 1, undefined 1, undefined minus 1, 1, undefined, minus 1, undefined. These two look very similar, just as cos and sine look very similar. And you'll notice that tan and cot look very similar. They're undefined every 180 degrees, aren't they? Except these ones are offset with those ones. And the others are 0. So I'll keep these patterns in mind um, so that when we graph our trig functions, it'll make a little bit more sense then.